Thanks to the success of electronic readers like the Kindle, we've seen a rise in popularity of e-paper displays. By the way, many of these displays are manufactured by the e-ink corporation, which is why you'll hear e-ink and e-paper used interchangeably. But thanks to this popularity, we've seen them pop up in maker projects as well as engineering endeavors to make energy efficient displays. To get you started with e-paper on the Raspberry Pi, we have two papyrus displays for you. The first is a regular Raspberry Pi hat that works with the B and B Plus models with the 40-pin connector. It comes with a 2.7-inch black and white e-paper screen and has a resolution of 264 by 176 pixels. Note that e-paper takes a long time to refresh, around 1 to 2 hertz for this display, so don't expect to play Doom on it in any sort of reasonable fashion. You'll also find four user buttons that you can solder to the top of the display. They can be used to call scripts, change the display, and so on. If you flip the display over, you'll find a real-time clock and a holder for a CR2032 coin cell battery. Next up is the Papyrus e-paper display for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is similar to the larger display, but has a 2-inch screen with a resolution of 200 by 96. It also has a refresh rate of 1 to 2 Hz, and while it does away with the real-time clock, you now have five buttons located at the top edge instead of four. So what do you do with a slow refresh rate, black and white only display? Well, because it refreshes so slowly, e-paper is generally more energy efficient than traditional LCD. That means if you're creating an image that can stay on here for long periods of time, then e-paper is a great way to go. For example, I've got this Raspberry Pi Zero W to show the SparkFun logo on boot. And if I remove power, the image stays, for the most part. Just remember that unlike most LCDs, e-paper does not produce its own light, so you need ambient light to read it. I already have plans to make an energy efficient display with this that gives me marketing metrics for anything I might be working on. It's small enough so I can mount it to my desk, that way I can see it whenever I walk by. You can also use it to display changing barcodes, logos at events, or the weather, and so on. It's a pretty basic display, but it has really good contrast at almost any viewing angle. Have fun, and if you want to make cool stuff with it, let us know what ideas you might have for creating things with e-paper in the comments below. But it does have very high con high contrast, gives me marketing metrics for stuff. The upward inflection on every word to coin cell, battery. <laughs> it's an efficient display that I'm repeating myself again. It's getting worse, great. <laughs> Awkward pause. Just fix it in post.